join me as I tackle the biggest obstacle to self-love after narcissistic abuse. Narcissistic abuse is a toxic and damaging experience that can leave deep scars on a person's self-worth and self-love. The constant manipulation, emotional gaslighting and exploitation can make it difficult for survivors to love and accept themselves. One of the most insidious effects of narcissistic abuse is how it can make you doubt your own perceptions and sanity. The manipulator's constant denial, blame shifting, and projection can make you feel like you're the one who's crazy and that you're overreacting or too sensitive. This can lead to a profound sense of self-doubt and self-loathing, where you start to question your own feelings, needs, and boundaries. You may begin to wonder if you're worthy of love and respect or if you're even deserving of happiness. Gaslighting can also make you feel like you're walking on eggshells, never knowing what will trigger the abuser's wrath or sabotage. This can create a sense of constant anxiety and hypervigilance, where you're always on the lookout for potential threats or dangers. And when you're in this state of constant tension and fear, it's hard to cultivate self-love and self-acceptance. You're too busy trying to survive and avoid the abuser's wrath. Moreover, the abuser's constant criticism and put-downs can also lead to negative self-talk and self-blame. You may start to internalize the abuser's harsh words and believe that you're flawed, incompetent, or unworthy. This can create a cycle of self-criticism and self-doubt, where you're constantly beating yourself up over perceived mistakes or shortcomings. Survivors of narcissistic abuse often experience a pattern of negative self-talk and self-blame. They may constantly replay the abuser's hurtful words in their minds or engage in self-criticism and self-doubt. This can be incredibly damaging, as it reinforces the abuser's toxic messages and makes it harder to cultivate self-love and self-acceptance. Another common pattern is the tendency to people-please and seek external validation. Survivors may try to earn the abuser's approval or affection, even if it means sacrificing their own needs and boundaries. This can create a sense of codependency and enmeshment, where you're constantly seeking the abuser's validation to feel worthy or loved. But here's the thing, the biggest obstacle to self-love after narcissistic abuse is the internalized belief that you are unworthy of love. This belief is often rooted in the abuser's toxic messages and can be incredibly difficult to shake off. You may feel flawed, unworthy, or unlovable and don't deserve to experience love, happiness, or fulfillment. This belief can be so deeply ingrained that it's hard to recognize and challenge it. However, recognizing and challenging these negative beliefs is crucial to cultivating self-love and self-acceptance. You must learn to reframe these beliefs and replace them with more compassionate and empowering ones. The bottom line is that recognizing and challenging these negative beliefs is key to cultivating self-love and self-acceptance. It's important to remember that you are worthy of love and happiness, and you deserve to experience self-love and self-acceptance. Thank you for watching, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you experienced narcissistic abuse and struggled with self-love and self-acceptance? Share your story, and let's support each other on this journey of healing and growth. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more videos on healing, self-love and personal growth.